Hello, the tad spat system here. Ha ha ha. So this is our feather calligraphy pin we like to write with. Um, oh, can you see me? So I wanted to get on the video and make a video for a reason, but as soon as I pulled it out, started videoing, I forgot. So we're doing just our daily morning tarot, even though it's like, I think it's like almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but we finally just stopped watching YouTube videos and finally got off the couch and started doing some stuff. So we, we were just watching some other CID videos and stuff, and we just kind of wanted to share a thought for a moment, which, um, yeah, so a lot of people might think that because an altar doesn't have a name or, or come out and actually talk in front in that sense, um, a lot of altars that you would consider background, that like do stuff in the background, aren't hosts or anything like that, but we literally have an altar that is, it's a boy, uh, he identifies as male, not even that it's, that he's in a, a body or, or has a figure, like, no, like, our altar smoke is our inner world's, um, oxygen air that we breathe, uh, so, like, in our inner world, we'll breathe in, and then whenever we blow out our air, it's smoke, uh, which is also why we smoke a lot. And also, it is formed, he was formed, it was formed, our internal air oxygen was formed. How do you want to put that together? Uh, was because, apparently, when we were a baby somewhere between zero and one years of age, like within the first year of the body's life, uh, we had stopped breathing, just stopped breathing. Um, smoke came out, told us this, and we were like, wait, so we died as a child? And he was like, yeah, pretty much, like, uh, I, I, I became your breath life, like, your, your oxygen patterns, or because of the weight of the body's, uh, the weight of legs. dealing with the trauma of family and family blood bonds and, and things like this. Like, Lex, she felt all this from before birth, obviously, but after being born and everything, and the anxiety and, and, and the the weight of it all was too much for us and we just quit breathing like you know this is so much either thoughts get it together either our purpose or we figured out everything from zero to one years of age and it was like okay we were here for a year we did it you know we were born whatever we did it huh <laughs> did Continue with me, the whole part. <laughs> Here we go. Um, yeah, so it was like zero to one. That's enough. Cool. We did it. We're here. We changed it. Boom. It's done. But obviously, we came back to life, whether that was because of, you know, whatever. They helped us breathe something 
or we chose to come back to life and, and continue in this world until actually meant to do. Do you see where I'm going? Do, are you, is anybody understanding? Does anybody get it? Come on. So this is also the reason why we have a haircut like this. Altars that are more in the inner world. Altars that are more dormant, I guess. And then the altars that come up to the front. And ideas and thoughts and stuff. Woo! Where are we going? Where are we going with this? Yeah, so smoke. So even though smoke was like, like that's like, you know, our lungs breathing and everything. Um, that it would be like this. background type thing when literally smoke is in our inner world and also hosting at the same time. Because we have to breathe. Yeah. So... Did that share or explain or, or anything what I was trying to think of? Yeah, so because smoke doesn't come out and be like, hey, I'm smoke, my favorite color is gray or blue, depending on how you think of what oxygen looks like. Like, it could be the air because you're outside and the sky is blue, or it could be green because, you know, the grass. It could be liquid. I don't know. But yeah, so smoke doesn't come out and say any of that. It's just like, if we're breathing, or smoke will introduce, like, when we need to smoke something, like, we need to take a hit, we need smoke, <laughs> then we need to smoke. <laughs> There's smoke. Also, if we are ever dissociating, like, so bad or something, and if the only thing we can say is smoke, 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 smoke. Smoke. That was pizza and a little bit of Kirsten. Uh, then it means we need to smoke to come back to life and get grounded. Even if we just sit there and we smoke and we still dissociate tomorrow, it's we're still getting the thoughts together to we are we will be able to speak and get it together and shit. Also, right now, in, in like the back of our mind, we're trying to talk about it and get it together, <clears throat> talk to get it together with one another to talk about this and do it um, to like really explain our inner world and how we move, move, how we move through it. And uh, something like, something like it's all going to go together to show our altars kind of what we've all been through and, and how it goes and all the different purposes of these things. DID is a constant self-work reflection type shit. So, to someone on the outside world or like a singlet, Yeah, I don't know. We just either triggered ourselves about something that we were talking or somebody got triggered or something. Yeah. Un because it's layers and layers insert enough quote here. I got layers to me. I got plans, I got goals, I got tricks up my sleeve. 
I got hard, I got soul, I got everything. Anyway, um, yeah, DID is formed from childhood trauma. So, layers and layers of trauma are layers and layers of dissociation and. No, we're going to put that somewhere. We're going to decompartmentalize it. And this altar is going to hold this. And this and burn to burn to burn. It just goes out. And so when you're uncovering your DID or realizing that you have DID and that you are a system and you work on system communication and all of those things, uh, then you are uncovering layers and layers of trauma and terrible things happen to you and who the alt is that is holding it and all of this stuff and so you're just like constantly triggered and like constantly sitting there trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you and what the fuck is going on in your brain and oh my god we just switched like a totally million different times and Lots of shit, lots of stories from other authors, from other people inside your head. Inside your head. And then not only that, you've got their spiritual beliefs and how they connect with the outside world. So then you've got all of the outside world too. Yeah, anyway, it's just a lot. Okay, we're going to go now and finish doing our uh, daily tarot. Yeah, let's try to get through some. So we just met Nyx, it's all to inside, uh, N-I-X, thank you wrestling Josie, uh, he wanted to come out and say hi, cause he's here now, he's like, he's like, yo, Nyx is here, and I'm like, right, Nyx is here, it's great, fantastic, yes, alright, peace out guys.